What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video I want to talk about what I think is one of the most underrated smartphones of 2018. Normally when we think of a flagship that's the best for the price, the best bang for buck as a lot of us guys like to say, then the device that usually comes to mind is a OnePlus device, currently the OnePlus 6T. And rightly so, OnePlus offer a great package with lots of great specs and features for a very reasonable price point. But here's the thing, I was on Amazon the other day and I got a suggestion for a device which is currently coming in cheaper in a lot of places compared to the OnePlus 6T and still offers a really good package. And I also saw a video from Dave2D who classed this as one of his favorite smartphones of 2018. And that is of course the Samsung Galaxy S9 as well as the S9 Plus. Now this device was released earlier in the year and generally it does tend to get a little bit forgotten towards the end of the year. I did my top five smartphone picks media of 2018 and the S9 and S9 Plus did make that list but they didn't make my end of year list as they didn't make many other top lists of other YouTubers and that is because they tend to get forgotten towards the end of the year in particularly because of the Samsung Galaxy Note devices which are generally more feature packed devices that take away the attention from the Galaxy S devices released earlier in the year but the big advantage of that is that the Galaxy S devices then come down quite significantly in price. Currently, they are around the same price as the OnePlus 6T. So what are you getting for a similar price point to the OnePlus 6T? Well, you're getting a lot of things that you already get on the OnePlus 6T, such as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, fast charging, good overall cameras, but you also get a lot of things that you don't get on the OnePlus 6T, such as a better display, in my opinion, is Quad HD Plus in terms of the resolution, and it's also not got a notch. Build and design is subjective, but on the S9 and S9 Plus, you do get that dual curb design, which a lot of you guys may like. And then you get things like a 3.5 mm jack with included AKG earphones, stereo speakers, an official IP68 water and dust resistance rating, wireless charging, an SD card slot for expansion. A lot of these things you don't get on devices in general, let alone the OnePlus 6T. And for those reasons, if you are on a bit of a budget, maybe around 500 pounds or $500, I do think that you should also consider the S9 and S9 Plus. And this is not to say that the OnePlus 6T is a bad device at all. It's a great device overall. You will be getting more RAM in general and speed and performance I do prefer on the OnePlus 6T compared to the S9 and S9 Plus. But it is something that I definitely think you should consider. I've just had a very quick look on Amazon right now. The S9 is currently going for around $470 with warranty. This is a refurbished model, however, and the S9 Plus is currently going for around $490 once again with warranty. I'll be leaving some links in the description below, but if you look around in other places, such as eBay, I'm sure you'll be able to get potentially even better deals. So just a very quick video to discuss this topic. Lots of devices that are released earlier in the year do drop quite significantly in price towards the end of the year but they are still very competitive devices, which I think you should consider if you're in the market for a new smartphone and you are on a bit of a budget. A big shout out to Dave2D for initially highlighting this topic in his video. I'm gonna be leaving that linked in the description below. What do you think is the most underrated smartphone of 2018? Definitely drop that in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. We've got lots more content coming in 2019. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.